So, this is going to be kind of a Geordie Does video. Here's a bunch of uh, coat hangers I've had for, well I just got these owls, they're not cheap. You get sets of two on, uh, I think I got them on Atsy or uh, Amazon or Timo. These ones are owls. Uh, you get anchors, you get many different types of ones. You get the normal ones just like this. I got a whole box full of them. I've had these for years. So this this is a piece of uh, Western Red Cedar, pretty wide grain. It is, um, say, 28 inches long. What does that say? 19 and a half inches wide. And it's like, um, I don't know, two and a half, three inches thick. Sorry. So, I think for this, I'm going to make a coat hanger just for something to do to kill some time. It's such a beautiful day out here. I, I, I'm not going to have my microphone plugged in. But um, I think I'm going to carve some trees up here. Get these silly little hooters. Let's see here. One thing about these owls, I don't like how they're um, all sloped one way. I guess it would be nice if... I like things to be even, kind of, so two are sloped that way, two be sloped, anyways, whatever. So let's get this set up. I think I'm just going to use my little Echo 2511 uh, today and um, carry on. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I cleaned the board up a bit. You got your trees here. You got your center tree two side trees and two back trees so this would be like I'm um, layering and you know you guys for the very beginning carvers you guys can go to the hardware store I don't know if I got it yeah um, find, buy yourself a 2x12 and you can make it out of a 2x12 too so I just don't feel like trying to make a this it's just kind of it's just like I said a Jordy does video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these little notches out of the top here, round this edge a bit here. You guys also got to think, like, um, how are people going to hang this on the wall? I think it, I'll have to leave that up to them, but um, I'll have the hangers on the back of it. I brought these things. So... How about, uh, I'll just start carving, notch these tops out, shape this, and uh, carry on, yep. Okay, you can see how it's uh, notched out there. So this tree, this tree will be forward. So one, two, two. So forward in layers, right? One, two, and these trees will be in the background. Um, these little saws or any saw, when that bar is smoking, like like you saw, I don't know if you saw in the video. When this bar is smoking, that means it's time to take apart, take the bar off. For me, anyways, just my opinion. Take the bar off the saw, clean everything out, and uh, let the oil travel good in the bar because something's plugged up a bit. Okay, so I got my saw all cleaned up. Hopefully it doesn't smoke as much. So now I'm going to um, cut this so it sticks out. I'm going to cut these back.
Perfect. So you see it's in layers. One, two, two, three, three. Push it back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it upside down. I'm going to flip it upside down because once I carve all the details in the tree, like the little pine needle things, it's not good to put it in your jaw horse because you'll snap them, right? So. You know, I really should have done the, um, the bottoms first, like I do my Christmas trees. So let's see here. Uh, Watch this little piece out. Let's uh, box this piece out. Let's just box those two pieces out right here to start. getting confused I'm gonna uh, put a board up and screw this to a board so then I could use my die grinder and just finish chainsaw carving the thing okay so I got it on the board I didn't really have this planned out I forgot that uh, I had to put the coat hangers on here so I'll have to flatten this out after but we still got to do some more digging so here this needs a trunk 
So I'll take out some of this wood and same with this one here too. I'm going to be using a little battery saw. This is the 40C. It's got a dime tip bar so I can get in there easier. Um, this chain brake broke off this. to work with our die grinder. Okay, so you can see what's going on. What's happening, man? Making up some okay, so there you guys can see like uh, one, two, two, three, three, back there. Um, now I'm gonna pull out the die grinder and just kind of push these trees back. I'm running out of room here. Well, not, not really, but I wanna push these trees back a little bit and then I'm um, just trying to clean up under here. I'll burn in here black so it separates them, the trunks. I'm gonna be wearing my dust mask so I'm just gonna show you guys now what I'm gonna be using is the Makita 800C die grinder with the Cutsall silver um, flame burr on there. Just clean it up quickly then we'll chainsaw carve the pine needle things in. I guess these would be pine trees. I showed uh, last live Jordy does, I uh, cleaned up this wood spirit wishing well. Here's some uh, flux seal I got left over from last year. I don't know why, but the plants, well, cedar's toxic. The plants, whatever I just put dirt in the cedar like this, the plants don't do so well. 
but that's why I spray this stuff, stuff like 20 something dollars a can but the plants do so much better so I just seal it with this Oh my god, some, this stuff's clear. I usually like black, but I'm just trying to use my stuff from last year. This stuff's clear. I got white stuff too. Make sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies. Yeah, I just goop it in. Okay, perfect. I got it in there. Now I'll let it sit in the sun and dry. I wouldn't do this in the winter because it was too cold out, but anyways. Uh, one more thing about this Flex Seal stuff. I don't think you should do it on uh, wet wood. I don't know, don't hold me to it. You might want to read the instructions. But I'll get about, uh, you can see the size of this planter. I'll be able to use this, um, but one can about three planters size like this. So it's, um, it's worth the money. Don't forget to leave the room for your uh, furry little friends with wings. Yep, so this one's only gonna have three. Boy, oh boy, how could you not wanna be outdoors on a beautiful day like uh, today, early spring. So I think I'm good for the, um, just gonna straighten out these trees a bit. I think I'm good for the, that's my jaw horse. I think I'm good for the, um, doing the needles on the trees. Now there's different ways you can do it. You can bring them out like from here, then bring them out. Or you can just keep on coming out from the center. So I got a center line on here. You're gonna see me just keep on bringing it out from the center. I might do one deeper cut, one deeper cut and then keep bringing it out. And another thing too, oh, we don't want the sawdust to get in here. When, I'm, when you see me using the saw, you'll see me using the side of the bar, the tip, okay? I'm not gonna be going straight in. I'm just gonna be using the side of the bar, side of the chain, sorry, and bringing it out, all right? Like this. Whew. Trying to use the bottom corner of that tip.
that's all. Now I'm going to pull out my Dremel to do these little uh, top ones. They're farther back, so they should be smaller. Anyways, now here's a Dremel 4300. This is a Mampa cutter, okay? These are not cheap. This is like 30 or 40 bucks for this little one. It's one eighth. You can buy them on Amazon, but you can see it's got the three cutters. These things are dangerous, but uh, that's how I'm going to do the little fuzzies and the fuzzy trees. Okay, this is just a mop, cheap mop sander from Amazon. I'm just gonna go over it quickly. I already did a bit, but I wasn't filming. For, uh, to get rid of some fuzzies. Okay, so since it's such a nice day, I got uh, this clear coat. I blew it off already. Might as well spray it with this. There you go. Now it's time to, uh, oops, I still got some pen mark there from the uh, owl tracing. Better get rid of that. Let's let this sucker sit out in the sun. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to work on next, but uh, I'm not going to be filming. So I think it turned out pretty neat. Like I said, you guys can do it with a 2x12. I'm going to take this off, let it sit in the sun, and uh, dry off. Then I'll screw the owls on. I don't know if I'll put the hangers on the back today, but um, don't forget to sign your pieces. You can, I sanded this before I started. Um, you could spray this black if you want to make it look nice and clean But um, yeah on to the next project This is uh, something I got from uh, my buddy Joey's uncle's house when he passed away I took it off the wall. I thought it was neat old rooster thing. I'm gonna uh I'm going to carve this, this is a nice piece of old cedar, I'm going to carve this and put this in the middle there, but I want to carve some stuff on it. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe you guys can give me some ideas. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Maybe just die grinder stuff, just maybe some carving fusion art or like the Japanese wind swirls. I'd love to hear you guys ideas. Dinner's ready, bacon and eggs. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of wrap the tools up. And uh, it's gonna be nice weather. So maybe I can give this um, a clear coat. I got this, uh, I bought this stuff last summer. It's uh, 
timber oil. I seen Ryan Cook actually used it. Uh, Ryan Cook carbon. Whereas I got some sea toll here. Yeah, that can's empty. But uh, where's that stuff here? Yeah, it's back there. I'll get it out. So this is a nice old piece of cedar. I just cut the bottom straight. Straight enough anyways. Um, I, this stuff, that stuff that uh, I sprayed in there dries really quick so I gave it another coat. I couldn't find a paintbrush so I can't give this the clear coat today. But it's okay to let that stuff dry out in there anyways. Um, here's that timber oil. Cabot. James, out there in Australia. Australian timber oil. oil. This was cheap. I think this was like 80 bucks. Now I, I bought this for a project last year. But it's kind of got a little bit of a yellow tint to it. So I didn't use it. But since this piece is going to be on the farm and get all dirty and stuff like that, I'm going to use some of this. But I couldn't find a paintbrush, so I can't put it on today. I didn't want to pull out my air, air blower sprayer thing for it because, well, I like to do a bunch of carvings. But I got the owls on. Um, I like to do a bunch of carvings at a time. I got the owls on the coat hanger, so there they are. So like I said, it does, yours doesn't need to be as big. You can use a 2x4. Let me turn that back light off. That's better. You can use a 2x12 from your hardware store or whatever. You know, for the anchors, I got Ride the Waves up there. So I'm going to do another one. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Maybe I'll do some waves uh, coat hanger. Ride the Waves, everybody. Ride the Waves. I like it.